but God can put it back on. Amen. What matters is that we can still come back and finish the race. Amen. There might be there might be a crack in the rail. There might, the rail might be damaged, it might be broken. But 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 when you call on Jesus, He can He can weld it, that tracks together and the elements can come together and that place that is being welded can never be broken again. Amen. Ooh, praise the Lord. No matter what happens in our lives, the best of us, there comes a time when we get discouraged, when we get despondent, when we are fed up. But God is the, is the missing link in our lives. Amen. 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 Our need is to have a divine encounter with divinity. When we come to church, I want to remind us, it's not to look at anybody's faults or weaknesses. We don't even have time to consider our own inadequacies. Amen. When we come, we should be consumed with a burning desire to have our souls purified. Amen. We come not to be seen, but to be saved. Amen. We come not to cast somebody out in the pews, but to sing the song of Moses and the Lamb. To have a divine encounter with God. You see, people who are close to God see their own deficiencies, Amen. see their own faults and their own flaws. You don't need to remind me about my faults and my flaws. I already know that. People who are close to God discover their own lustful desires, their own lying lips, their own wicked hearts. And Jesus doesn't want to condemn us. He wants to recommend us to the Father. Amen. Isaiah comes into the temple, disheartened, but he leaves encouraged. He comes into the temple depressed, but he leaves elated. He comes into the temple confused, but he leaves reassured. Uh, enlightened. He leaves, he comes dismayed, but he leaves reassured. He comes broken, but he leaves whole. He comes despondent, rejected, and perplexed, but he leaves with a blessed assurance. Amen. Jesus is man. He came in with bad news, but he left with good news. And I'm saying to, saying to us that the good news gets even better with Christ. Amen. God loves every single one of us. Yes. Amen. Amen. Our God is a mighty God. Some of us come in here with lying lips, stealing hands, sinning genitals. But if our faith does not change our behavior, it will not change our destiny. Amen. We can leave this place justified, saying like Isaiah, Woe is me, for I'm undone. We can say like Isaiah, Hear my Lord send me. You see, God doesn't just want to uproot us, He wants to replant us. Amen. God doesn't just want to tear us down, He wants to build us up. I'm not talking about no artificial cosmetic makeover. I'm talking about major surgery. Mm -hmm. This is what Jesus wants to do for every single one of us. Every single day is a surrender to God. Every single day is a commitment to God. Every single day, the word sanctification is simply justification extended. Amen. We need to be justified every single day. Amen, every day we need to be forgiven. Every day we need wisdom to make right decisions. Amen. Amen. Every day, because His graces are fresh every morning. Yeah. Yes. And if Isaiah could see His need, what about you and I? Amen. Mm -hmm. And by the way, God can use us with all our faults and our flaws. One day, a young man was cutting the trees, and his axe fell out into the river. <laughs> and the thing was not even his. He went to the prophet, and he said, "It wasn't even mine; it was borrowed." And the prophet of God, Elijah said, take me to that place. He had a little talk with Jesus. <laughs> and he touched that water with his mantle. And my Bible tells me that axe had begun to levitate from the belly of the river, came up on top of, top of the water, and it began to swim. Mm -hmm. If my God can cause I to swim, if my God can cause a donkey to preach, there is nothing that God can do. Amen. Certainly he can use you and I. Amen. Amen. And the commission is not just Isaiah, but every single one of us need to say, like Isaiah, here am I, send me. Amen. All of us who come to Jesus, as a matter of fact, the spirit of prophecy <laughs> tells us that every true disciple 
is born as a missionary in the church. Amen. God has a responsibility and a, a job for every single one of us. In whatever way we need to surrender our lives completely to Jesus. Amen. Amen. A friend of mine, God loves us. He loves every single one of us. We are precious to Him. We are particular. Amen. Amen. When God calls us, He calls us not to be better than, but He calls us to be different from. Some of us are standing on the promises, but we are sitting on the premises. Amen. We need to surrender our lives completely to Christ. And now God to use every single one of us. Amen. Amen. I know what it's like sometimes when you are being tempted and tried. And believe me, it comes in the little things. Amen. In your job, in your workplace. And I've come in contact with some folks. Believe you me, it's by the grace of God. You've got to keep a smile on your face. Even if it's a mannequin smile, you've got to put it on. Amen. Amen. You've got to keep a smile on your face, a song on your lips, a joy in your heart. You've got to have some rhythm in your bones, some pep in your steps. Amen. Amen. And you, 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 you've, got, you've got to have a, you've got to have a, Jesus always maintained a calm composure. Amen. Praise the Lord. We need to have Jesus in our lives. Very good. Be, be, because friend of mine, it's amazing. It's amazing. And the time is coming when every single one of us are going to be tested and tried as though there is not another upon the face of this earth. We need to know in whom we believe and believe what we should believe. Some of us think that SDA means sitting down always or Satan is our nature. The devil got his people in the church, amen. But we got to be instruments in the hands of God, amen. What I'm trying to say to us, friend of mine, God loves us. Amen. amen. He doesn't want to get us out, he wants to get us in. Amen. If God wants to get us out, we are already born bad, amen. Something is wrong with the first birth. That's why Jesus said you must be born again. Amen. We are in a mixed up, messed up situation. And in this country, oh, when I talk to my relatives back in the island, oh man, God is punishing this nation. They are dying like flies. Friend of mine, whenever any nation turn their backs on God and call right, wrong, and call the wrong right. God will judge. Mm -hmm. See, God is no respect of persons. Amen? Amen? He is God, and beside Him there is no other. Amen. We need to wake up and realize that we are living in serious times. Amen? Amen. And we need to say like Isaiah, Hear my Lord, send me. Right. Amen? Amen? What a day of rejoicing that will be when Jesus comes to claim his own. I want to be that number when the saints come marching in. I want to be there, friend of mine. Let nobody steal your joy. And in closing, I want you to know that one of these days it's going to be all right. One of these days there ain't going to be no more sickness and no more pain and no more sorrow. And no more crying, and no more eyeglasses, and no more wrinkles in our faces. Can you imagine this one of these days? There ain't gonna be no more false teeth. Amen. And no more gray hair. Amen. No more arthritis, and no more AIDS, and no more cancer, no more hypertension, no more death, no more prisons. It's gonna be alright one of these days. I'm looking forward. You see, a person without hope. Is the person who is suicidal. Nobody lives without hope. And nobody in the right mind wants to die. Because Jesus has promised us something better, something superior. Amen. He said, I go to prepare a mansion for you. And if I go, I will come again. The mere fact that Jesus came the first time, that was the deposit, that was the down payment, that was the guarantee that he will come again. He's coming again. What a day that would be, friend of mine. Amen. One of these days, I want to be that number, friend of mine. Amen. The angels are going to shout. Amen. The trumpet is going to shout. Eh? Sound, amen. amen. Jesus is coming again. 
I want to be that number one that says, go marching. Can you imagine? We're going to swing back those poly gates on those glittering hinges. We're going to walk on the streets of gold. We're going to stand on the sea of glass. We're going to sing the victory song. You know, Isaiah was a king. He was a good king. But I discovered that the king of reggae is dead. The king of pop is dead. The king of soul is dead. The king of rock and roll is dead. Chantasu is dead. Buddha is dead. Gandhi is dead. Muhammad is dead. But I discovered that the king of kings was dead. But he's alive. Amen. And he's alive forevermore. We don't serve a dead God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a living God. Amen. Amen. We are not to shy away as God's people. A whole lot of folks who are living in sin are coming out of their closet. <coughs> and we who call ourselves God's people need to shine as bright lights Amen. in this dark world. Amen. Amen. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. I could not say this to you, friend of mine, because I know my own faults and I know my own flaws. I'm not even worthy to stand here before you. But because of God's grace and mercy, because of the blood of Jesus, because there is a fountain filled with blood Amen. drawn from Emmanuel's veins, and sinners plunge beneath the flood, lose all their guilty state. Because of Christ and Him crucified, we serve a risen Savior. And because of Jesus, I stand here today. Amen. Yes. We are not to look at our faults and our flaws. That's what the devil reminds us of. Our past, our faults and our flaws, our deficiencies. But God is not concerned about what we have done in the past. He's concerned about what we can become by His grace. Amen. And grace is power to live above sin. And I love what Raymond says. You see, God saves us from sin. He gives us power over sin. And when He comes again, He's going to save us from the very presence of sin. Amen. Then there's going to be no more sin. One of these days, it's going to be all right. Amen? Amen. I look forward to the day Amen. when Jesus will come again. Amen. Like Isaiah, I hope every one of us can say, here am I. Send me. And that's what Ellen White reinforces. She says, every single one of us need to say like Isaiah, here am I, Lord. Send me. Amen. May God bless you, friend of mine. May God keep us faithful to him so that one of these days we'll be able to march through those pulley gates on those glittering hinges. Never to part again. No more separation. Mm. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Yes. Let us turn to our closing.